welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tooie Part 3. In the following episode in Part 2, we defeated Klungo in a pretty epic fight, not gonna lie. At some point, I think I was actually sweating there. Anyways, let's go over here and explore this area. I'm pretty sure there's something we need later on over here. Um, can't grab ledges. Assume it's a move we learn later. Uh, because, you know, grabbing ledges is extremely hard. You need an experienced teacher to teach you it. A lot of time is involved, too. It's excruciating. Well, anyways, let's go over here and read this signpost. Alright, our information guide is telling us that this is an information signpost. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Alright, this signpost reads, In loving memory of the Grey Jinjo family, passed away unexpectedly when a huge digging machine flattened their house. That's a shame, but you know, it happens from time to time. It's a pretty common occurrence these days. This house got wrecked, dude. Anyways, let's get back on track. Let's head into this house right here. So there's no Jinjos in the Black Jinjo family house. So this dude kind of wants us to come visit him in his throne room. I guess we'll do that next. Right there. Big huge castle in the center of Jinjo Village. Mm, it'll be really hard to miss that. I guess we'll head over there now. Jinjos in the um original Banjo Kazooie were used as collectible. You collect five of them in a level, and you'll get a Jiggy for that level. In this game, however, you collect Jiggies to complete the family house, and if you complete the family house, let's say five orange Jinjos right here, you'll get a Jiggy for the overworld, and let's say two red Jinjos in this house, you'll get a Jiggy for the overworld. Pretty sure that's how it works. Anyways, let's climb up this hill now and visit the king of all Jinjos himself in his fancy castle right here. Get the fancy music and everything right here. The grand wel welcoming of King Jingling's throne room consists of one couch and two torches. Such a great castle. He must be very wealthy. <laughs> he also has a cherry ring pop on his hand. Those cherry ring pops were really good. Also had that blue raspberry kind. I love those candies. Still do. Haven't had one in a while though. Apparently the Jinjos were scared away by the witches and the giant machine. Well, you know, when you watch your neighbor just get demolished by a huge digging machine, you know, you have a reason to leave this place. Apparently it's a big deal to the King Jingling dude, because there's a huge kickball tournament about to go down between the Jinjos and the Moles. That's all he cares about is this kickball tournament. He doesn't care about the well-being of his Jinjos. I love it. Alright, he's gonna give us something. Alright, and that's our first jigsaw piece of the game. Score. These things are used to open up new levels for us to explore and eventually lead to the end of the game. And Jiggy Wiggy is this all-powerful being that opens up the worlds. Yeah, he's the leader of a secret and ancient order dedicated to the mystical powers of the Crystal Jiggy. See? Exactly. Anyways, you give him a certain number of Jiggies and he will open up new worlds for you where you can get more Jiggies and more collectible items like Jinjos and Cheeto Pages. It's quite a handful, but I'll take it one at a time. Alright, now he's gonna open up King Dingling. That is not his name. Even though it's I'm now dubbing him King Dingling. Alright. Alright, we need to go over to Bottle's houses now. Uh I don't know where it is. We'll find we'll find it, don't worry. Alright, looks like we're leaving his castle now. I have no control over Banjo right now. He's, there we go. Alright. A strange pet. Yeah, that thing kind of looked like a miniature anteater to me. I don't really know what it is, though. Right, meanwhile, 
How did that drill scale a 90 degree wall? 180 degree wall, I'm sorry. That's a little unbelievable, but Nintendo 64, there you go. Huge satellite? Better give you a lot of channels. I'm kidding. It's a laser. This music basically means something bad's about to happen. And here's Grunty herself with her bob laser with the options to blow and suck stuff. Alright. A little confused, but we'll go with it. Looks like the witch wants her to stop rhyming. Which is a shame, I kind of liked her rhymes. They spiced up the game a little bit. Big ol' blaster. That's that's what Bob stands for. It sucks and blows life force from crown plants and creatures. Alright, so basically, Grunty's trying to get her body back, in order to do that they use Bob to suck the life force of plants and humans and creatures and whatever entity is in this game in order to have enough life force to create a new body for Grunty to use. And that's their whole plan that Banjo's trying to stop. Alright, they they're gonna start blasting. Oh yeah, they need a target. I wonder who they're gonna target. Oh no, not King Dingaling. I reckon we should blast the Jinjo King. That's an awesome sentence. Oh no. They're using the suck option of Bob. That seems very dangerous to stand next to, not gonna lie. That looks lethal. Oh no. I hope we don't get caught in the crop. That would suck. Oh, I remember what happens. The whole building turns gray. Kinda reminds me of the whole, um, Deku tree rotting away in Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It gives it a little nostalgic feeling. Jingling is basically as good as dead. In fact, he's a zombie. And now his throne room has this dark, heretic sound to it. Oh, what happened? Okay. His little, uh, pet's just ash and eyeball now. Alright, now they only have to suck the life force of three more, probably? Man, how am I gonna stop her? There's, like, no way I can get to her castle in time. Alright, good. Uh, Bob requires a huge charge-up time, consisted of around... maybe five hours. So we have plenty of time to get to her castle and just completely destroy... Grunty herself and her little witch partners. Man, the mole and jingling is gone. You're right. We have nobody to help us but Mumbo. Mumbo better be a big help in this game. Alright, so I have control of Banjo again. Let's go and head over to Bottle's house. Alright, this wasn't that hard to find. Let's head in here. I'm just gonna ignore everybody in this house. I don't want to break the news to him yet. It's too devastating. Just walk right by him. Don't make eye contact. Take her right. Oh boy. I'm just trying to... Oh, no. Oh, he engaged. Hey there, Banjo. Uh, hey dude. What's up? Nothing's, nothing's wrong if... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, totally. Your dad will be home soon to play kickball. Don't worry. No problem. I don't know, think about it, there's more problems than just the Jinjos being missing for the tournament. Bottles is also dead, and he seems to be a key player. Yeah, he's apparently the best on the team. I'm sure he was, or is. 
Oh, this guy has a secret escape from his house. Dude, that's... that's thug life right there. I wonder where he goes at night. The, the mole club? Underage shrinking? You know. He hit puberty. Hey! Alright, anyways. Wooded Hollow. And... Jiggy Wiggy is now speaking to us telepathically because he's that powerful. You know, King Dangling was able to do that too. Alright, anyways, we're out of time, so I look forward to the next part, which is right in the top right corner right now in an annotation, or you can go back an episode into the top left annotation. See you guys later. Pause.